Hi guys, welcome to Coloring Book Club. Oh, B. <laughs> God, love you. <laughs> hey, darling, how you going? Oh. All right, I'm going to Coloring Matt Davidson's Trio Part 2. And I'm using Pablo's and Derwent Drawing Pencils. How have you been, girl? You doing all right? Okay. I... Uh, let me see now. I'll just zoom in. There we go. So I played around with the sky a little bit. I just put a bit of grey over it and a little bit of blue over it just to bring that white back a bit because I just think it was too, I don't know, too blurry. Anyway, let me see. A couple of colours here. There's some grey and brown maybe. See here we go. Warm grey 010. I'll turn it on its side. See my vandal of a cat. <laughs> yeah, good start. Wait, I feel a lot more normal. Oh, awesome. Hey, Lulu. Hey, Rain. Thank you for being here, guys. Alrighty. I suppose now that I've done that, I can zoom in even a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Just some warm grey to start off with. So I might even add not that white. Maybe some brown over too. So what's been happening? Anything exciting? Oh, I've been thinking about this table. It's so rickety that I don't really want to go and buy a new one. And I was thinking about what can I attach the arm boom to. Well, there's nothing really here that I can do. So if it's rickety, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do about it. <laughs> but it annoys me. I must say. Yeah, this one's brown ochre and it's five seven double O. And some chocolate. Double six double O. What a cool picture. I know Matt Davidson's work is pretty cool. These pencils are kind of a little bit on the, I suppose you could say, on the chalky side. But yeah, it is a cool picture. <laughs> the chocolate's pretty, it's dark. Ah, oh, I'll tell you what. That bloody woman across the road opens her door up about 8, 8.30 or so. And her dog starts barking and I just think it's so inconsiderate for her neighbours. I don't suppose any of them want to really complain about it. But it's just inconsiderate. Now the detail in this
just defining lines and things like that. A little bit of a challenge. So I'm using the chocolate and then I'm using warm grey 7010 on top of it just to lighten up the chocolate a little bit. But also give it some shadow. Because the handle might be able to see it. I've got my um, pablos there as well that I can use or anything else for that matter but I chose pablo and I thought these Dermot coloured pencils would be good because of the earthy colours in this picture I don't the earthy colours for this picture. Um, Warm Earth 5550. Call it USA 555. <laughs> I always think about aliens. For some reason, and the bird that drives the. or pilots the um, shuttle. I don't know if you know which scene I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't have much sleep. Might be a bit gaga today. Maybe just a little bit, it's a bit light. It's got the pedestal down here. Then you've got the tree going through. But once you blend these pencils right in, they're creamy. A little bit of white cloud coming through there. Mist. <laughs> Does look like mist. I think that that's was my mistake that I um went too heavy <clears throat> instead of making it light like I did down here. I went in a bit too too heavy with it. <laughs> yeah, Gar as well. <laughs> yes, we went to bingo last night. And I got a, a bit of a thing for number 89 for $700. And he was calling out all the 80s all around it. But would he call it 700? Uh, would he call it 89? No. So I missed out on, on $700. <laughs> that would have been nice.
just a little bit of brown ochre, 5700. Just so you can see the branch going through. Every black and some greys. Oh, this is ivory black. I'll turn the picture around. I think. Right. If I do it on the side, it Straight lines. Cause some like this picture's um it's like sketchy lines through it as well. So we're just defining the bricks compared to the mortar. Okay. Um, actually. Yo. I'm on screen. <laughs> uh, maybe the brown ochre. I'll have a look in a sec. Yeah, I'll take that one with the mortar. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, and what in it be? What's the picture of? Oh, I love my jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all these hobbies and stuff that we've got, seriously. <laughs> I was awake doing an Ennis puzzle. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm sorting the fun. Plays own thing for my cats. Oh, cool. It's we all made here by Ennis. Yeah, I thought so. Um, nice one. I can use. I've got a few here. Yep, so one of the dogs over the back, or it's the mongrel across the road. $5,000 mongrel. <sighs> Sepia red, 6110. <laughs> oh. Thank you. 
And it's just fantastic when you're streaming to hear, you know, we can't have music, but we can have dogs howling. Together. Uh, I what fun it is to live in back in suburbia. <laughs> I'm trying to use these pencils up a bit and I can put some black in there too. Thought using for the red ones. Where's that pencil? That's the one I was using. A bit of black. Green Shadow 4135, which is a grey kind of colour. I'm mixing it in with the blacks and the reds and dirty tones. So you get darker greys and the lighter greys. I thought those would be good colours for this picture. So I spent the last two days doing so much research I want an easier way to upload and like have the captions for what pencils I'm using. Anyway, after a ton of research and different things, I just decided I to do it the long way. I did contact someone and asked them a question, but they haven't got back to me. Surprise, surprise. And I, she probably won't, but I, I was just curious to know what she used. Without mentioning any names. 
And it's just like, well, I know competition, I just wanted some advice on what you use to see if there's an easier way to do it. Now I'm doing this one darker up the top here because it's a bit of a ledge. Oops. See how that looks. Yep, that's pretty good. Hey Christine, uh, hang on, whoops, wake up mouse. Where are you? Um, let's see what we're Hey, Sherry. I have one of those dogs that barks at everyone and everything. She drives me bonkers. Oh, Nani as well. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Hey, Christina. Hey, B, sweetie. How are you? Sherry. I'm doing good. Where can I get this pick? Alright, oh, I'll get to that. I'm almost done with that pick you are working on from Daria. Um, which would be Belinda's pick. The background is coming out better than usual. Oh, well done, Sherry. How am I, Sherry? I'm good. How are you? Missed you last week. It's Matt Davidson on Etsy. Cool, Sherry. I haven't finished it yet. Really excited about it. Um, just tried looking on Etsy. It says shop closed. Thank you, B. All right, now. I might do some of the grout first. Oh, I think the shop's not shut. Right. I don't think they would. It's not closed. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is a cool picture. I got this ages ago. It wasn't part of the um, colorathon, <clears throat> but it was just yeah, one of the cool pictures that he had. So, alrighty. Now I wanted to find that brick. So a little bit of sepia. And then a little bit of green shadow so that brick doesn't blend in with that ledge underneath. Um, Craig Green 5090. Now they, they are like greens and What's the other one? Um, green shadow, but they're, they're quite grey colours. There's another one I can add in. <laughs> now I had them upside down. 
from when I used them. But I don't think I need them that way anymore. I've got all these in my head. So I can mix and match them all up. All of earth. I might not use that one. I might use the ink blue. Smoke blue, it's a great colour. Yeah, we'll see how we go with some of those. I'll see that. Now, in under here is darker. So, a little bit of ivory black, 6700. And then some smoky blue. Maybe I will use that. Bit of ink blue, 3720. Yeah. I reckon it might do that. So a bit of ivory black. Oh, well, that's what I like. I love the black, the ink blue, and then the smoke blue on top. They are really cool colours together. Needs to be chocolate. There it is. That's a bit too blue in there. A bit more chocolate. Now with this pen, these pencils being thick lead and chalky, unless you really sharpen them up, it's hard to get um, really crisp lines. Just a little bit of black. Let's see for the finer details in here. Here we go. And a little bit of sepia. Because it's around the corner, we want it to be shadowy and darker. And then out here, they're a little bit lighter. So sepia red, chocolate. That grey up. A little bit of Craig Green five o nine o. I love how they blend in together. All right, um, black and those colors. 
Now, I'm going to put that to the side because I'll mix and match all those up for the bricks. So that's how it will turn out. So, I might... Bit easier. I like to get the paper so I can do the right angle and not have strokes going the wrong way. <laughs> it's not closed. It's telling me I need to update my Epsi app. Ah, okay. You best do that then, Lulu. Um, the Davidson pics are always stunning. I can't help with that. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Um, pop on over <laughs> to Lulu's and update her at Etsy app for her. <laughs> it's just around the corner. <laughs> um, I can't help with that. Any good stories for me? Ah, you like all the gossip. No, I've been, oh, hang on. Not much. Um, be right back. No worries, Lulu. Hi, Pam. I'll catch the next flight. Oh, there you go. But he's gonna get on a get on the Concorde and fly on over. Can I count? <laughs> That'd be fun, wouldn't it be? Jump on a plane together and go over and visit everyone. That would be awesome. And go to Walmart and Michaels and <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Um, no, there's a few people that have, my next door neighbours on this side, they ended up with COVID, they went to, they went overseas for a holiday, they come back and they got on on the flight and they got COVID and a few others have got COVID so I'm not going anywhere near the clubhouse at the moment, staying well away from there. Um, so not really any gossip. Went to Bingo last night. The people I was with didn't say anything exciting. So no, no real gossip. I've stayed away from them all. I've been too busy. Oh, last night because I went out to Bingo and then we went to the stupid. Oh, we went to the golf club for a while. Got home at like one thirty or something like that. Oh, a bit over, a bit after, about quarter to two. So late one last night. The night before that, I went to bed, I think, at 4.30, 4 o'clock, something like that, researching. The night before that, I went to bed at 5.30 in the morning. I'm researching. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, all right, now the ivory. I've got. Still, using them all the time. Ivory black. Four nine six in the padlock. Yeah, I don't want to get his hair. And I want to really put that grey that I've got. Oh, a little bit of sepia, but that's almost... It's a little bit too grey. Dark, it's not as bad as the black. Um, slate grey 495, try that one. Yeah, that's not as bad, that's pretty good. Pablo's got nice on this paper actually. Really smooth on this paper. So 
want to leave a little bit of hair there. I mean, I can go over top, but it is nice to just have it still showing. Like I said, this picture has got like sketchy lines in it. Go over those. Now I'm just using this grey, so I've got defined lines between the bricks and the hat. Just find it easier with a lead like this compared to the Derwent drawing. Okay, I'll leave those two sticking up. Now, back to ivory. Um, no, I I use the smoke blue three eight one zero to start off with. Hey, Mona. I know. Um. We had daylight savings kick in two weeks ago now, not last week, week before. So it sort of threw things out of whack a little bit. Any good stories for me? Not really. <laughs> bit of a bummer. <laughs> um, I'll catch the next flight. Let's make a week of it. Absolutely. Um, say there is a two minute interview with a vampire. I did see the advertisement for that. It's pretty good. Oh, okay. Um, send the trailer, Sherry. It looks good. Yes, it does. Um, love my vampires. Uh, and how appropriate that it's oct oct Spooktober and or Halloween and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, let's talk about spooky stuff. I wasn't too keen on the man on Mansa in the first episode, if you didn't mean him, but besides that, he likes it's good. <laughs> Laugh out loud, stupid club, I thought you said then. <laughs> well, it was a stupid club, I didn't win. Well, I didn't spend, I only spent like $50, $60 there on the stupid, stupid pokies. <laughs> Was what I was going to say it was stupid pokies and I and then I just said golf club, <laughs> but yes I did. I went. They went to the pokies last night. So I yep. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them, but you can see you know like one more spin, next spin, next one. Oh, go, it's gonna do something, you know, and it's just yeah. Gotta watch that. Um, ah, researching. Yeah, well, hmm. Yeah, it's not fun that's been researching. Uh-oh. Yeah, you could say that. Welcome, Mona. Good to have you here. Good to have you all here. Um, Mona, share me. Oh, bloody thing. It's skipped. Oh, Mona, fingers crossed for you, darling. Yeah, <laughs> Pam, fingers crossed for you. Yep, exactly. Um, you and the pokies again, laugh out loud. Yeah, I don't, don't go much. And I don't spend like a lot of people do. Like I said, I only spent $50, $60 last night. And I had a good play. Um, and if that guy at 
bingo called at 89 i would have had 700 dollars <laughs> which would have been nice and the great and the jackpot at the end of the night was two thousand <laughs> oh that would be nice but it didn't happen <laughs> all right shut up and color smoke blue 3810 we'll just do it a light layer of that first His hair there. Got to find between his fingers and the hat. All right, smoky blue. Then we have ink blue three seven two O. So there's another line there as well for the rim. Maybe I'll get that black pad out. Yeah. Do you had some rainy Victoria? Oh. Girlfriend showed me a picture of a road near Ballarat last night. Oh my god. Like it just goes to, without with the water receded, um, oh, the roads all ripped up and all the side of it's out and it was like don't drive in water because you don't know what's underneath. And looking at that road, you, you no. <laughs> if you drove on that with water on it, you'd be in major trouble. It was so broken up. Now I'm using the black ivory black, just lightly on this side, and heavier on this side. Now I've left a bit of a gap there between the bricks and the hat. So I can fix it up later. And then ink blue 3720. And then the smoke blue three eight one oh sorry about the table guys, nothing I can do. Um, maybe a little bit of wheat. Which is 5715. Anyway, I just want a little bit of that in there. But I like this, I like these three together. The black and the ink blue and the smoke blue.
bin der Rappe dick. Boah, das nicht. Cool Grey 7120. Now for the rim, um, Smoke Blue 3810, a little bit of Pablo in there too. Then it's a fine between the underneath of the hat and the top of the rim without just making it a big black blob. I'm just going to go over lightly with the Pablo. So it's not quite as dark as the actual top of the hat. So I'm just going lightly. Now, oh, hang on, I might use that one. Um, oh God, that gold writing is just the worst. Grey 005. Now I might group just fairly lightly because it is black. But I want to be able to see between the sky and the rim of the hat too. All these dark colours need to be defined so you don't have just black blobs in there. <laughs> just want to polish this off a bit. And for the ribbon on his hat, I'm going to go. Where is it? I oh, know there's a real. Oh, uh, see, I've been using a uh, teaser and that, and I'm getting the colours mixed up. See how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Send in your hugs, Mona. Um, in Western Sydney. Yes, we got a fair bit of it. Um, all down through into Tassie as well. Yeah, the potholes are terrible. Yes, they're driving in my dad's or places where it flooded. The holes are terrible. Yes, it's done some damage. It always rains in sunny England. <laughs> oh, 
And Lulu, you're in England, not USA. And here I am talking about Belinda and I jumping on a flight, coming over. Well, England's just as good. You come over there too. <laughs> I'll do a round trip. <laughs> um, Paul, if there's a racket places for Iran. Yeah. Oh. Iran. I don't know why Iran. <laughs> Poor if it was a wreck in places for man. I posted some footage on Facebook. I have friends in Florence. She sent some bad photos. FL, is that Florida? Uh, fishing boats all piled together like toy boats. Yeah, no, it's. Water's very, very powerful. No, oh, that's too pink. We'll be using that one. Um, so I have got Venetian red six three double O in the Derwent drawing. And then Pablo Carmine O eight O that's not too bad. Brownie ready colour from the Venetian red. And I wonder what this one will be like. A bit of sand green. Now, sand green 6220. And then a bit of light sienna 1610, which are both doing the drawing pencils. And then back to the Pablo. I hope you're keeping up with this. <laughs> um, oh, I, oh, oh. Not that anyone, you know, anyone's going to do this, but um, it is nice to know what you're using. Just a bit of shadow on that ribbon. Now, for me, that's not red enough. So I'm going to use a Pablo Scarlet 070. I want a really deep, dark red down there. to do a drawing I just want to check it out on screen okay so he's got red on and I might do his coat a black as well Might do its base. Yellow ochre 5720. Turn that around. I'm going to bring that mat down. I'll end up creasing that. Don't like creased paper. Power of love through nature is a stunning thing sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Looks really cool, Heather. <laughs> Thank you, Lulu. Um, yep, yellow ochre 5720. Oh, I was actually going to do his eyes. Yeah, 
but yes I will I'll use just a light coat of this as well yellow ochre Love it when pictures start to come to life when you're colouring. And I'll have to get in between his hair and put it's really wispy, ghosty sort of hair. So a bit of sky in between with finer pencil. A wispy, wispy hair. Now, I don't have to use a dirt drawing, I just thought that'd be pretty cool. Maybe a bit of olive earth. Alright, olive earth 5160 in the dirt drawing. I should have kept that pencil out actually. But I did. Yep. Uh, Olive Earth. And Pablo, because I want the finer detail, is Ivory Black 496. Stick a bit of gap there in his tooth. <laughs> Back to the olive earth. And yellow ochre. So between the olive earth, yellow ochre, and the black pablo. But I want some grey in there as well. <laughs> um. Brownish beige 404. I don't know about this one yet. Yeah, no, that's not right. Put a bit of shadow shading. <laughs> He's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, oops, wrong way. There we go. He's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, he looks like he's a ghost that's seen a ghost. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. uh, looks really cool. I think I did the one with the lady vampire wearing a hat. And there was a couch in the background. It was part of the Spooktober pack. 
this one is in. It sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Last year, and it took forever. Lots of detail, like usual. <laughs> no worries, mate. Um, I'm trying to think of that one. I'd have to look. All right. A um, bit of olive earth. And back to the beige, brownish beige. And I can't say, and I'm pretty sure, I have not seen this coloured by anyone else offhand. I don't think so. But not positive about that. A lot more of a grey. Green shadow. I don't know. I don't want it too dark. I want a grey sickly looking, but yeah, this might do, I think. I thought about before I started streaming, I wonder if I feel like those feel like eggs today like I do. And yep. <laughs> it's coming on. So his head's Got a bit of sh a bit of highlight on it. It gets a bit darker underneath. A little bit of black. I want those eyes to pop. And of course, he's got bags under his eyes. Now yeah, I'm going to grab I want his teeth yellow but not too yellow. <clears throat> Back. No worries, B. Did you uncook cook me a couple of boiled eggs? <laughs> and some toast. Alright. Now this is Chinese white seven two double O. So I brought the white back and then yellow ochre at the bottom. It's just got yellowy. And then a little bit of olive earth.
So I've actually made his teeth just a little bit wider than what I wanted. Use your finger and get some of those colour under the top. <laughs> oh, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Have it sometimes a bulging out of his head. <laughs> and. A little bit of chestnut 057. And then blend that in a bit more with the yellow oak. Now, use that black. <laughs> I guess I should do his hands as well because, well, I could watch it back. Not that I really want to do that, I've got other things I want to do, but while I'm using the colours, I might as well. One, two, I'll lose his thumb. So it was yellow ochre. Little bit of olive earth, 516. I haven't seen you know who for a while. He must be outside in the sun or something. I heard some funny noise this morning in bed and it's like, what was that? You know. A lot of the times you recognise the noises. I don't know what this was or what it exactly sounded like. And everything seems to be intact. <laughs> I got up and walked around the house. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he did. <laughs> oh Lord, I just got... Mooned by my kitty, did not need to see his pinky. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've had cats for, you know, all my life and everything, but I don't know, I just thought I'd research about cats or whatever. And there was something on Google that said when they do that, because cats like to put their butts in your face, they're giving you a handshake. There, so there you go, apparently, according to what I read there. And we all thought, you know, it was the cat just saying, kiss this. <laughs> now, I've done a bit of outline. And I'm going to go over with a bit of seven uh, warm grey 7010 because I don't want it too yellow. Get that black. Okay, 
is filling the oil. I'll fade that. I think that's hat. I was going to make it a bit more of his finger, but yeah, it might be. I'm not sure what that little bit in there is. I'll make his finger like it's. I'd like the joints to stand out a bit more. Not normally how I would have it. If I was, I love drawing skeletons and things like that. They're easy. Doing bones is really easy. Bit of olive earth. And I don't know if that I don't know. Um, Solway Blue 3615. <laughs> Oh, who is on the couch looking? Yeah, on the couch looking. So I looked over and well, saw mother and I needed to. <laughs> so he didn't walk up to you like you walk up and turn around. So it's right there in your face like they do. <laughs> he's like he was having a bath. It's like don't watch me, mum. <laughs> Um, I'm just thinking about what colors. Poor dog, he needs a feed. <laughs> now, what do his coat like? His hat, blacks, and, and blues, the sim same color, similar, like same colors. Um, what I was going to do maybe cream yeah nice color my coffee's cold I need a fresh coffee. Before I do that, it's show and tell time. I've always got to do show and tell. Okay. 
Hit me us. So I got her done. Alright, so I did do something. I got her done. And she came up pretty cool. And that is um Amanda Matthews. So that's her done. I love the pearls. They come up really, really cool. Anyway. And her jewellery. Anyway, now I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, so that's her done. With Pablo's. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's cats for you. Exciting, love show and tell. <laughs> it's not much. Oh, this look awesome, Heather. Thank you very much, Mona. Beautiful, thank you. Thanks, guys. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. It's pretty cool. And this one, I did three parts on YouTube Live. And then I thought I'd finish her off because I want to. I'd like to find a quicker way because editing is just t so time consuming. But I wanted to do finish her off, and I started her on stream, so I wanted to finish her on YouTube. So I have done pretty much all of it. But yesterday I did a video and did her dress and. I don't know, the pearls and the hearts and a couple of other things and some of the flowers down the bottom. And then I'll do the rest of the flowers off stream. So the video goes for like an hour and three minutes. So it's quite pleased with myself. <laughs> an hour and three minutes, I've got a butterfly done. I've got a dress and a hat done. I've got some flowers done and I've got the hearts done. <laughs> And because I was recording, I could, with OBS, I could actually pause, which is just brilliant. Um, so I could pause and go and make a coffee or have a smoke or whatever. Anyway, so I've got the flowers up the top here to do, which I will do off, off stream. So it was great because I can start her dress, pause, do a bit more of it, then come back and it cuts the video down so it's not so long and boring. And... Um, so I finished the flowers and then my biggest thing to come yet yeah, is just finish the flowers and then upload it to my software and put captions in and, you know, all that, put it all together and music and all that sort of stuff and upload it and that will be that picture done as well. So I spent yeah, a couple of long long nights just researching different stuff on on the best way to go about it and what to do so looks like i'm gonna have to do it the long way i can there's a thing called um word captioner which is okay and it picks up a lot of words it, it can it can even pick up like your rogerton but then it's like Roger 10 and all this other stuff. So you can put an alternative, you know, if it says that, you can put the alternative. But I tried it the other day just to test it out again. And it's it's just not accurate enough. Sometimes it puts some weird stuff up there and it's like, nah, I, I want it to be right first time around. So I think the best thing to do would be to just do the recording upload it to the software and just edit it and just bite the bullet and go well this is going to take a while <laughs> and the shorter the video to upload with all the editing and everything the better <laughs> all right now this is Sol solway blue 3615 in the derwent drawing
Yeah. Come on, come, come on. I don't think I do want to use that. I'm just looking for a colour that we might be happy with. No. Might be a bit darker than what I wanted. Brown ochre A three seven. Mm, it's not really. And I also it's that really dark grey that I had. Like this one. Um just the underneath all the frills. I think I can lighten that up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> So I am using Slate Grey 495 and Solway Blue 3615, a Pablo and a Dua drawing. Oh, things are going cold. And I can also get a white as well if I need to. Yep. Yeah. I'll do that. It's funny how you get um, colours in your head of what you want. Even a bit of black in there. You can always lighten up when you need to. Oh shit, that's his vest. <laughs> nah. Oh, his vest is going to be red anyway. Turn the box back around. Now, I wanted his best red. This is pink, but, well, it's not red like I want it to, but it's alright for a base coat. Do that next. Did. <laughs> if 
been hung away. Watched any spooky movies. They had um, Friday the 13th on the other night. And then after that they had... What did they put on? Oh my god, I've gone blank, I've forgotten. They had Friday the 13th on. And then after that they put something else on. They had two horrors and like, cool. And I've seen it before. Um, oh, what's it called? Um, not oh, is it Blood Tom something Tomahawk with Kurt Russell in it? And it's a western, and they go looking for a girl that's been kidnapped or something by some cannibals that live up in the mountains. <laughs> yeah, it's um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got some yucky scenes in it. <laughs> Sorry, puzzling. Yep. Yep. They're addictive. I love them. Love doing my jigsaw passports. Now I have to do his neck as well. I'm just putting some black in here to find the lines a bit. This is going to be the same. It's going to be the same pencils as his hat. Now he's got a bit of a, you know, I suppose the dark grey. Not picking up all sorts of colours here. Um, that was Oliver 5160 and I'm using grey 005 so I've got Pablo's happening and I've got the Dermot drawing happening <laughs> that's pretty good for a bit of shadow that's probably pretty good yeah, that one I was using, the black I was using just to define between his coat. And I've got a bit of white if I go a bit too dark at any stage. And if I want a real just dark grey in there that's for fine points, I'm using slate grey 495. <laughs> I was looking at this the other day and I thought, oh, am I colouring a bit of this? And it's like, no, no, no. I'm doing it on stream. And there are times when you see someone colour and the next minute it's, you know, they've done a bit and it's like, well, how did you do that bit? <laughs> it's like, you didn't show us. <laughs> Which can be rather frustrating. So it's like, how did you do that? So I do like to sort of try and make sure that once I start a picture on stream, I do finish it on stream. Or I might, you know, like the other picture, the Clara one, do some of the flowers so you get the idea and then do the rest. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. Right. I don't mind that so much when, that, when streamers do that. But when they come back on, it's like, oh, this is done here. And it's like, we didn't say you do any of that. So we don't know how you did it. <laughs> Just lightly going over the whole lot with the Chinese white 7200. Shut up. I have to do his neck. Where's that? Which 
should not put that away. I've got green shadow. Yellow ochre. And a bit of sepia, six one double O. Brown oak out five seven double O, which we got on a better colour. Oh shut up. <coughs> Oh, when I did the recording yesterday, and I'll listen to a bit of it back, make sure it was all right. And what can I hear in the background? These damn dogs barking. <laughs> I'm doing my nails, watching Heather on Halloween. And in Halloween, the movie? Well, you're a good multitasker. Doing your nails, watching Heather and Halloween. He said hello in the movies. Now <laughs> uh. yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of white. Lulu's here. You like it when I go and yell at the dogs and tell them to shut up. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 watch it now, mate. Now that's the one with Jamie Lee Curtis in it, isn't it? I think. There's just a few spots in here that haven't got pencils, so I'm just making sure it's all covered. This is good, this Chinese white, really white. Little man's coming in for his bin morning brookie. Hi, isolator. It is a lot of Halloween films. <laughs> um, well, what did I watch the other day? And it's got, um, Kurt Russell in it as well, and it was called The Thor, and it was on um, free TV, not normal free TV, um, Plex, and oh god, I love, I love my new Tony. There's <laughs> just so many movies and all, all the horrors. There was one there, what was it called? Bone Hill Road or something, or oh, something to do with it. Was, it was the worst acting, and I, I usually, even if it's a crappy movie, you gotta watch it to see what happens. No, nah, it was the acting and that was that bad. I turned it off. It was just, <laughs> I can't sit through this one, um, which would be one of, you know, yeah, no, nah, just wasn't doing it. <laughs> but I watched the Thor a few days ago and it's got Kurt Russell in it and then you're Antarctic and they find a mammoth under the snow 
and there's some parasite, some bug in it and everything. That wasn't it. That was, that was good. I, I love Kurt Russell, but um, it wasn't a bad movie. It was pretty good. This one. Trying to not use this one because it's getting pretty. It's getting, getting a bit short. I'll mix up the reds and see what happens. Terracotta. No, that one's fine. Well, that's pretty good actually. Now I've tried Terracotta 64 double O in the dirt drawing and then Scarlet 070 over the top. Let's see if that works. Oops. There's his button. Button. It's funny. <laughs> they blurred out best bits, Heather. In what? <laughs> in 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 what? We talked about Halloween. Horror movies. Oh hit the new one. Isn't there there's a scene there where he's got his back to the screen? Booty Starkers. Um, what they just blur it out for you guys over? Oh, oh no. Well, they blurred the front ones out. <laughs> oh, damn. Although that's not what I go for. I'm an arms girl. I love. I love a good set of arms and nice big forearms and big hands, big feet. Yep, you know that one. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no. But it's a bit of eye candy. I thought it was so stupid, I did not enjoy it. Oh, really? Oh, I love Chris Hemsworth. He's to die for. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bama. Let's go eye candy. Yeah, he's got a chain coming around right there. Um, I might use, oh, what am I going to do? This is really, really fine work. I just, <laughs> uh, I just about need bloody magnifying glass. Hang on.
just going around it so I remember that it's there. But yeah, it's just about a magnifying job that is. That's small. It sounds dumb to be honest. What did you think about Isolana? Did you think it was alright? Bit of a bummer. Don't tell me Chris Hemsworth's going to have a dud movie. Um, what was on Snow White and the Huntsman the other night? And I thought, oh. And then, whatever a stupid name is, out of Twilight. I can't stand her. I think her acting is just crap. <laughs> so you got Chris Hemsworth, yummy, 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 and then you got this stupid cow. <laughs> I just, uh, and, and plus she had an affair with a married man, the director on from Twilight, and that's just a no-go zone for me. It's like, he's married. I'll keep it nice because I'm on stream, but yeah, I could think of a couple of names for it. <laughs> Just not. That's a no-go zone. <laughs> you don't touch someone else's partner. It's just no, no, no. Um, it wasn't that bad, it's okay. They are revamping it. Oh, what? They're going to do another one of it? God. <laughs> yep. Yeah, wasted time. Worst Marvel movie ever. Oh, no. <gasps> Jurassic Park domination was woohoo. Oh, was it? I heard someone said on stream last week or the other week that like the tissues or something again yeah i want to see jurassic park domination but that's we were talking about that the other week about fallen kingdom and that's a bit upsetting some of some of that and apparently someone said that this new Jurassic one is a bit of a tearjerker at times too or something. Um, but I do want to see it. Oh, Heather, same. Love her. She's a weird looking thing. <laughs> yeah, I like Jurassic Park. Yeah, I like the Jurassic Park movies. Um, I just, yeah, Fallen Kingdom was okay, but I mm, just. That poor brontosaurus. So go back and get it. Yeah, I don't, yeah, no, I can't do it. Oh, but, oh, 15th, of, 15th of December in the cinemas in Australia. Are you guys in the US and that might get it sooner? Oh, new avatar. Oh, I've been hanging out. It was supposed to come out a long time ago. And they're underwater and... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can't wait for that. Oh, I know what that is. That's a brace. Do. She's a weird looking thing, yeah. I don't know, her acting is just crap. Absolute crap. And to put her up against Chris Hensworth, and I really. Now I've got a few reds here, but. And browns. I think I just need to smooth it out, I can see. At an angle, the shine gets on it. I need to do his. Fingers and that or something, I don't know, it's just...
fingers don't look like fingers, they look like something else. Oh, That's better, I need to round them off. But yeah, just the end of these fingers and then there's a line going across. <laughs> Leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you look fingers? Regroup. <coughs> oh, I put it all away. Now I have no idea what I'm using. Regroup. <laughs> I have no plans to see it now. I want to see Black Adam and Woman King if I have the money. Heard of Black Adam and Woman King? <laughs> no, I bet. Oh, I don't know about that one. Uh, I'm just looking. Oh, so he's got a candle there as well. So there's going to be a bit of a glow happening. So I will do this. Because there's nothing worse when you've got something like that in your colour and you go, oh, damn, I forgot. <laughs> That's why I've gone around the chain there to remind myself that, that he's got a chain. And there's also a candle. Now, I'm going to do his coat the same colours as I did his hat. And this guy over here helps pen blokes. I used black. I don't know what grey because I didn't write it down. I'm going to use the same colours. This was done with pen blokes. I want to use the same similar colours that I used here. Now it was black, one of the greys, but I don't know which one. And I know I should see, this is why you should write your combos down. Yeah, I think it was over. And I know it was the really, really dark green. I know it was the dark green and the black. I'm not sure which grey it was. I'll figure that out. Maybe a couple of other greys will go in there too, like lighter grey. <clears throat> a bluey. Might have been that one. I'll leave that one, but I think those three. And there is a touch of yellow in there, but I don't know if I'll use that. Will I get to that this week? I don't know, but maybe next week before stream happens. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? I want the coat. Oh, I want the coat the same colour as that. I don't know what colour I'll do with pants yet. And I'm thinking about doing him 
really dark green black dark like the background so sun's come out it's made it difficult and they're in Pablo's Okay, so mouse grey 006, maybe a bit of slack grey 495, dark green 229, that was definite, and black 496, and I think maybe a bit of ochre in there too. Not sure about that one though. 035. Up, oh, sun, out, sun, in. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Mouse grey first. Oops. Yep, where's that other? Green. I can tell I've been using some, some more than others. Yeah, these two. Um, I'll leave both these out. I might use both of them. I can't even see that. Olive. Olive Grey 018 and Olive 249. Alright, that's enough pencils. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes. Something like that. Olive. And I'm going to try the other one as well. But definitely olive black. Definitely olive black. A little bit of grey. Just not sure about those two. Black, olive, olive grey, dark green, and a little bit of mouse grey. They're different. Not sure about those two. Okay. So a bit of black. Bit of dark green. That's why I want the grey. of olive grey back to back in black Really pretty colours actually. Oh, I've got to stop curling my foot up onto the 
Because it twists the ankle, and then when you go to move it, it's like, oh. I'm going to have fun with these colours. Really pretty. Oh, they're really nice colours. They're really pretty. <laughs> Love my Pablos. Yeah, they're pretty good. I have anything. I have anything to yet. It's not like from Karen Diash, to be honest. They're like, yeah, not a like them. <laughs> now, Melody sent these over to to me. Got lower. Um. Yeah, it'd be nice to have it back. Now that's where I might use the slate grey, 495. Now, just for that outside, whatever that was, I just picked up. I think it was the crab green, I think. Oh, that one was solo blue. I'm not sure. Um, I just wanted a bit of a highlight in there. But, you know, the coats have that... Um, that curled up bit. Or the underneath of it. So there's more, there's shadow under his hair. And it just lightens off a little bit. Sorry, guys, but I, I, really nice colours. I don't know about on screen, but off screen. Yeah, see, on screen it doesn't really, but, but off screen, really pretty. Nice. Good choice, Heather. <laughs> this stuff is always good. Um, you had you zoomed in for a closer look. Had you zoomed in for a closer look, and it looks awesome. Great color compass. <laughs> uh, they go. Good choice. <laughs> oh no. Um. <laughs> Just making you aware. But if you do have Pablos, noir, 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 black. It's not, it's ivory black. Um, it's, I was just muck, mucking around with the NOIR black because when you try and do it like voice recognition for captions, it comes up with all sorts of stuff, everything but what you want. Um, it's a hard one to get in captions. Ivory black 496 well, it is for me anyway. Dark green 229. Olive 249. Oh that light coming through under there is just perfect. I can see these. Olive grey 018. Mouse grey 005. No, I actually think that's 006, I've been saying, but it's mouse grey. Um, and slate grey 495. So those pencils mix and match together. And I'm using Strathmore 10 tone paper, um, which can make a difference as well. Oh, yep, way to go. Actually, I'm going to do his bowl of the same. What's the time? Oh, two hours. Time flies when you're having fun. All right, I'm going to quickly do his bowler. Mm. 
Now that was mouse grey, 006. Pretty sure that's a six, not a five. And I'll try and keep the paper this way. I just prefer to go with the lines of the paper, that's why I turn it around. It's much easier. Yeah, he's got a band across there as well. Alright, um, so that was Olive249. Those two. Olive Grey018. I love the eyebrows on this guy, he's really cool. <laughs> For those, I don't know about overseas, but in Australia, <laughs> we're showing our age. <laughs> Professor Sumdi Miller. <laughs> Do you remember that, B? Do you remember him? I don't know about any, I don't know. If, I think it was in Australia, so I don't know about overseas, no, but yeah. Why is it so. <laughs> Used to be a show on telly in Australia, and he was like, you know, he used to do science experiments and things like that, but the set of eyebrows on him was just a classic. I love them in the Lumis and the Neo 2. Yeah, I've got Neo 2 and I've got me Pablos. I don't have Lumis. So pigmented. Um, maybe. <laughs> Why is it so... God, they were cranking out some good songs at the um, golf club last night too. If you remember, um, Bucks Fizz. And what else are they playing? Oh, God. Oh, I'll just play. Um, and then we were talking about old songs and everything. And remember Racy and... Am I singing their songs? No. No, <laughs> that was black. I need a bit more black. Yeah, I'm going to do that again, um, just up the top. Warm grey, 7010. It's not light enough. So I'm just going to lighten up a bit more with some white. So depending, depending on how you use the black and that dark green, you can get some really interesting colours out of these. Oh, I'm hungry. Now we have Christina. Christine come in at the start 
Are you just listening? Or did you bail out on us? <laughs> She's being quiet. Might be just lurking. Hello, Lucas. You're welcome to come and say hello. This one's olive grey, because the olive grey and the olive is not, there's a little bit of difference. The olive grey is just a little bit darker. But if I don't tell you what colour I'm using, it's like, which bloody green are you using? <laughs> there's a line there too. Uh, okay, I need... Pale Cedar 4125. Yeah, I just want to get ink blue or something. Make sure there's a difference between his hat. <gasps> Went a bit too far. Doesn't look round now. So he's going to have a green bowler hat and then he's going to have a dark green but oh shit I suppose I'm off bloody screen um the colours between using down here and up here with the same pencils so that's the colours he's going to be and he's going to be a black coat a red vest yep <clears throat> what look pretty cool when it's done <laughs> oh it's 11 11 that that's what happened last week i didn't use those two that's what happened when i finished last week it was like 11 11 i told you i see it a lot now I'll put those pencils aside and now I'm going to have those get the flowers done and then I might get some of that get his coat done and get his coat done maybe <laughs> all right hang on wake up mouse yes. There we go. Let's see what happens if I change the light. <laughs> That's not bad actually, that one. There we go. Um, you can see the lines a bit better, I reckon. Okay. Let's see. Heather, where's the kitty? I don't know. I think he's been outside in the sun a fair bit, come in for a bit of a snack and took off again. The good old days. Yeah, you can't beat them. Some girls will, some girls won't. Some girls need a lot of love. That's the one. <laughs> Lulu, is that a song beat? Because it's got me singing. Yes, it certainly is. It's um racy. You have to look up Google Racy, the song. I am not singing it. Is it in my head? Yes, thanks for that. <laughs> yep, Racy, yep. See, B confirmed it before I even read it. Um, I love that background. Thank you, Sherry, do you? I don't know. I was a bit... 
that looks weird on screen. That looks really weird. It's, it needs to be really refined. It looks really... Yeah, I don't know. It looks funny. Um... <laughs> Love how it's looking. Thank you, Palm. Me too. Um, I thought so. Love how it loud. Uh, looks fine. Okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> but everyone, you're just so kind. Even if it does look crap. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I brought them back a bit. They were too bold, too white. Um, they should be more fluffy. But anyway, uh, we'll see. What I might, I might. Be able to get some buff into it when I finish with dabbing some posca or something. I don't know. Or yeah, we'll see. I don't know. <coughs> some people go, leave it alone. <laughs> it's fine as it is. Um, so that looks fine. This is looking so wonderful. Thank you, Mona. Thank you everyone for being here today. Hope you enjoyed. What happened then? Oh. All I did was turn off the controls, not the bloody camera. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Have a really good week. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right, guys. Oops. I don't think you're streaming. I don't take care of um, but it's looking awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.